Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Adam, the Logical Dude, and I have power again. Uh, so if you saw from, you know, a couple of my posts, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Not, who cares? I'm letting you know now. Oregon got dumped on this week by a whole bunch of freaking snow, and I know, you know, everybody across the country, you know, you guys are used to it by now, but we're not, you know, and... Eugene, I, I love the city so much, but guys, y'all weren't ready at all. And I'm going to go on a slight rant to, you know, if anybody with eWeb listens, uh, which is the Eugene Water and Electric Board. Guys, you really need to restudy your uh, power grid. It makes no freaking sense at all. None. I was sitting here for two days. Looking at people. I was out of power for four days. I was For two days, though, I was watching people in my complex, like the rest of the complex, all but like this one little quad of buildings, mine included, had power. We're all staring them down like, Argh. you know, it was beginning to be a very undued kind of situation, and especially since this guy was the only one with a fireplace well me and my upstairs neighbor but you know we, we have a fireplace so man the dirty looks i was getting bringing in firewood let me tell you what um but it's all right man you know i slept with my pistol next to me i dared him <laughs> but it's cool man my neighbors were all right man no no you know it's a bunch of older people and stuff too where i'm at which was part of the problem and that was one of the things that i called and like blessed the power company out about was like look you know it's just this one little quad of building what's, what's the problem <laughs> you know and it's like we got you know we got oldies in here man you know that are getting cold you know i loaned out a couple of my heaters and stuff and we're going to talk about preparation in just a minute after i get done with my little rant so um you know you guys you gotta be ready and i just i want you guys to be prepared you know, and so that's why I'm making this video. And we may do a whole, like, preparation series, you know, um, based on this. It's kind of something I've been wanting to do anyway. Because, um, you know, if you guys know anything, you know, you may have heard me mention it before. But I'm a hurricane, you know, transplant, you know, from Hurricane Irma. Um, you know, was living in the Florida Keys for a long time and got booted out of there. And now I'm in Oregon. And, uh, yeah, we got dumped on suddenly but apparently this was the worst snow in like five years that they've had and uh just nobody this nobody was ready for it you know they uh, the weather channel and noaa were all predicting like one to three inches of snow we got one to two feet in some areas so weather people let's work on predictions a little bit more okay let's 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 work on that um yeah, let's allow people to get a little bit more prepared for that kind of thing. But that's also on you guys. And that's what we're going to get into because I'm going to end my little rant on that. Um, actually, I want to talk about one other thing is, guys, if you live in a community like an apartment complex or something like that, and you have a situation like the power goes out and you're all stuck in this situation together, guys, work together. I was the only one, and I guess because I was the only one with any tools or anything, because, yeah, I mean, granted, I live in an apartment, but I also have a yard, so I had, like, a shovel. Well, everybody's coming and asking me to dig them out, you know, or I, I would loan them the shovel, but, I mean, some of these people that were loaning the shovel were, like, you know, like, little old ladies and stuff, and no, you're not going to dig, no, I'm going to go and dig you out, you know, but did anybody offer to help or, help me? You know, anybody offer to help dig my van out? No. Who dug out my van this morning after everything's kind of pretty much melted off? This guy. I finished digging my own van out. But who dug out the entire parking lot? Me. Twice. Sidewalks. Helped the maintenance men. I was the only one out helping the maintenance men. You know, they had shovels to loan. But I was the only one out helping. Built some major brownie points with my property managers and my maintenance guys so that's you know i guess that's a good thing but you know and i did have one lady that i helped that she you know her daughter gave me a little gift card and she gave me a bunch of chocolates so that was a good you know the chocolates were a great morale booster during the power outage let me tell you but and they were the good chocolates too like the good flavored ones um anyway 
super thankful for that. But, you know, it's just the fact that, you know, nobody else got out and helped. Like, even just, you know, simple as just scraping sidewalks and stuff. You know, they would come and borrow my tools to get themselves out, but wouldn't help the person next to them. You know, when they could have easily scraped a little bit of snow to help the person's car next to them. No, they didn't worry about that. They were, they dumped all the snow to get their car out and blocked another person in. You know, I, I saw that happen a couple of different times. And selfishness, guys, the, the society has gone just stupid. Okay, let's, so let's, let's get back to just being able to work together as a community and quit being all about just ourselves, you know? Like, I loan stuff out to people. You know, I could have easily kept all of my heaters and heated up my apartment nicely, you know, other than my fireplace. And, you know, I could have kept all my little propane heaters and stuff like that. No, I loaned them out because I didn't need them. I had a fireplace. You know, so I just hunkered up in my living room. So I was nice and did that. But it's okay. You know, karma's going to come back. Karma's going to come back to, to, to this guy. Things are, Good things are coming. That's all I got to say. So I'm still looking positive on 2019, man. I, I'm, I'm looking all kind of crazy positive on this year. So one did thing that happened because I did have LTE on the phone <laughs> is I was able to uh, order to see a coin miners so and this is the only crypto talk that i'm going to get guys because i really want to talk about some preparation um but yeah i did order two ca coin miners and i'm going to take put one of them into an immersion tank and i got a, another one that i got a silencer like the minor uh the minor master pro c silencer box i ordered too i sold out of all of my neo to do that um, or the rest of the Neo that I had, I sold a bunch of it off last week and, uh, put all into my steam accounts and spread out between a couple other coins, but I sold the rest of what I had and bought that cooling box for the miners. So I got the miners really cheap on eBay. So I'm really super excited about that. They're still expecting to clock me anywhere between three to $400 a month each. So that's after the power bill and we got cheap power here in Eugene. So I'm happy with that. And uh, so I'm really excited to get those in and get those up and running. And hopefully that will help um, kind of help generate some more income and uh, throw into some master nodes and that kind of thing. I'm wanting to get into the master node game and I want to really build my, um, my, my, my Steam accounts and everything. So anyway, guys, um, that's all the crypto talk that I'm going to talk today. But what we're mainly talking about is preparation. And since I'm done with my rant, guys, I'm totally in like Walter fashion right now. And I need to, I need to get back to my dude fashion. So, and I'm going to do a video on dudism and we're going to talk about dudism one day. Cause you know, I've get, I get some questions occasionally about that. If you guys have any questions, you can go to, you know, dudism.com. Uh, we're the church of the latter day dude. It's a uh, basically the world's laziest religion based on the theory of the big Lebowski. It goes a little deeper than just being a fanboy thing. Um, it's basically like Taoism kind of based upon the philosophy of the big Lebowski. So if you want to know more, go check it out. Dudism.com. I am an ordained Dudas minister and I can marry you. Um, I don't know about Oregon laws, but I did marry some people in Florida. That was really fun. So, uh, and I was the DJ for the wedding too. So doubled up on that one. But anyway, guys, um, I'm going to take a hit of some beautiful lemon kush and just kind of mellow myself out for a minute. Can't believe I'm already almost nine minutes in this video and I haven't hit a bowl yet. It's so undue to me, man. So undue. All right. So, oh, so much better. Preparation. One thing in a crisis, make sure you're stocked up on whatever you do. Make sure you're stocked up on your herb, you know, if you're a beer drinker, make sure you're stocked up on that, you know, whatever to get you through whatever crisis. <coughs> but the big one is food, water, um, you know, power this day and age, because everybody is so attached to their, you know, electronic devices that are all battery powered and has to recharge at some point. Having things like backup batteries and solar panels and that kind of thing are huge. So, um, I'll show you real quick. This is one of my, this is my bigger battery pack. So this one actually has a 300 watt inverter. 
So, um, got your AC right here. You can turn on the AC buttons, or you can use just the panel that's in the middle, which has 12 volt and four USBs. Uh, your 12 volt input um, is where you would charge from either like a, a wall adapter, which I have right here, or um, I had it somewhere, a solar panel. I've got a so, uh, an 80 watt solar panel that actually came with this pack. Um, I bought it on eBay as like a bundle. I think I paid like $279 for it. So uh, it was really awesome. It's an all, um, all powers foldable solar panel. Um, so yeah, seeing if it was uh, within arm's reach. And sorry for not being prepared to show you that. But anyway, um, <laughs> house has been kind of chaotic trying to put everything back in its home. So uh, actually, I think I did put it back out in my van. Anyway. Solar panels, battery packs. Here is another kind of battery pack. This is a lovely little USB battery pack I've shown you guys before. It's got, uh, with all the lights, I'm trying to see if we can get a clear shot. But anyway, yeah, there we go. So one, two, three USBs, all 2.4 amps. So you can power actually iPads or iPhones off of this. And then you can charge with either a micro USB or an Apple lightning cable, which is very, very good thinking by this company, um, which is covered up by Velcro. So I can't give you the name of the company. But anyway, I bought this on Amazon. If you look up, um, you know, rechargeable battery pack, you know, solar panel, because this has got a little like little solar panel on it that you can, um, that it can do like an emergency recharge. I don't suggest trying to do a full charge off of the little solar panel. It's not that powerful. Um, so I actually recharged it off of the big one, which I recharged from the 80 watt solar panel. So that worked out. Another really cool thing to have were these little lights. So these are like little light switches. It's got a little dial that um, you can have a dim light or a brighter light. These were really super handy to have. Um, had them in all the bathrooms and that kind of thing. So I actually used these. I went and pulled them out of my van because um, I have like four of these in my van. So those were really handy to have too. Um, other stuff is like you know, camping gear, man, like stoves. A camp stove was great. A uh, little camp setup. We were able to boil water. We were able to make soups. Um, you know, boiling water, you can make anything, you know, instant rice, oatmeal, anything like that. And, um, yeah, another thing, having a fully stocked pantry, you know, um, whether you eat all the canned foods and stuff or not, which, you know, I have a rotating stock is what I like to call it. So when I buy new stuff, I put it in the back and then, you know, I try to use the food that I buy, you know, but a lot of it was just like canned food that I just buy and put up. Um, and it just sits there and stuff. Cause I, I, I try to eat as many just like raw fruits and vegetables as I can, um, in a situation though, when you don't have a lot of refrigeration, you know, you're going to be glad for the canned foods and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and I suggest when you're buying your canned foods, unless you have a can opener, which I suggest getting one, if you don't get the little pop top lids, like find, you know, buy cans with the pop top lids that made life really easy in a lot of cases. So, um, yeah, just think you got guys, we got to think outside the box and prepare for you and take care of you and your family. Um, you know, if you've got a butt ton of silver and gold and you've got, you know, a whole bunch of cryptocurrencies and that kind of thing, and you're, you know, you got a bunch of money in the bank, but you got an empty, or you, you probably don't even have a bunch of money in the bank. You know, you probably have cars and stuff like that that you're paying $600 a month for, but you got a bare cupboard. That's not smart. You know, uh, sell some of that crypto, sell some of that silver and gold. Get prepped up a little bit, you know, get you some food, you know, get you a couple of those buckets of just like, you know, ready emergency food kind of thing. If that's, you know, I've got some of that, you know, get some water containers, you know, keep water containers filled up, you know, and ready to go, you know, because if the water gets shut off, that's an important thing as well is water, you know, so, you know, have a shovel, you know, have some tools, you know, that kind of thing, you know, be ready. Don't just be a consumer, you know, that's what, you know, don't be just 
you know, oh, I could just go to the store and just go and, you know, no. What if you've got to walk two and a half miles and a foot of snow to get to a store? Had to do it this week. Was not fun. Okay, you would rather be prepped up and ready to go at home so that you don't have to do that. The only thing I had to go for was wood. The rest of the everything else we had, you know, wasn't ready for all that. So, um, that was the only thing we ever had to go to the store for, was just firewood. So, we made it, but we were ready. Are you ready? That's the question. Are you ready for anything? Hmm. You know, the big talk today, you know, especially in like the crypto world and everything is, are you ready for the banks to collapse? Are you ready for, you know, monetary blah, 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 blah. Guys, are you ready for the freaking power to go out and it'd be freezing cold and not have any food, you know, like readily available, not have, you know, have the stores all around you be out of power, except for the weed store. That was freaking awesome. Like they were the only store that was open. Yes. So I stayed high the whole time. It was great. Actually, this is the last of Lemon Kush that I bought. So, anyway, guys, be ready. Just be ready for anything. Don't be like my pissy little neighbors staring at me because I was ready and I was taking care of my family. Like, yeah, you know, hey, I'm a good old country boy, man. Don't, you know, don't ever forget that. I may be culturized, but I'm an old redneck from Alabama. Don't forget it. This country boy survived. A blizzard in Oregon. So, that's it. That's it for me. Peace, guys. Be cool. Be real. Abide. Think logically, guys, and be prepared. Be prepared for anything. And I tell you this because I love you. Anyway, if you're on YouTube, give me a subscribe and a like. If you're on Steam It, which I prefer you to be watching me on Steam It, uh, Give me a thumbs up, you know, and uh, maybe re-steam this message to people. You know, be prepared. Peace, guys.